this time, I'd like to introduce another student speaker who will address her class. Uh, please welcome Jade Falatoy. Go, Jade! Way to go, Jade! Woo! Good morning, fellow classmates, distinguished faculty, and elated family members. Well, Condors, we have finally ended a chapter of our lives, our junior high chapter. But where one chapter ends, another soon begins. Next fall, we will begin our high school careers as freshmen and have these past two memorable years as something precious to look back upon. We will be able to reminisce about the good and fun times here in Condor land, or we can learn from the bad and sad times we experienced together that made us life wiser. It can happen an hour after we leave here today, or in 20 years, as you sit in our plush White House office, or in the jungle of a third world country saving lives. One thing I do know, and I'm sure everyone here will agree, that without these hallowed forms of education, we would not be able to save these memories of friends made, grades made, and especially of our educators that have impacted our lives more than we know. All year long, we echoed our theme, Unlock Your Future, Education is the Key. This statement, idea, belief, holds true. Without education, we wouldn't be able to do much in the world. I believe that the more education you receive and achieve, the more opportunities are afforded you. The administrators, counselors, and especially our instructors have endowed us with as much knowledge and wisdom as they can possibly give. It is now up to us to take what we learned here and use it to achieve things in our lives. Essentially, they have given us a giant ring of keys. They have left it up to us to see where we can use those keys and how many doors we can open. For each door we come to, a different world is waiting to be conquered. How we use our education will support our success as adults. With the higher education, we can thrive and put our stamp on the world. Going on to college or university, we have a greater chance to flourish and be an active member in our community, our state, and even our great nation. It is known that a high percentage of people who succeed in college succeed in life. Billionaire Bill Gates went to Harvard University, and our principal Bill Gates went to UC Irvine and got a degree. Mr. Gates may not be a billionaire as Microsoft's mobile, but he makes his billions and seeing his kids, us, get a degree. We Condors are very fortunate. We had great people here on staff at Alamitos that cared a great deal for each and every one of us as scholars, athletes, and as people. I will cherish the memories that I have made in my two years here. And I hope that everyone in the class of 2007 will join me in unlocking our future because education, the key, has been given to us. Congratulations, guys. We did it. Way to go, Jade! Let's give Melissa and Jade another round of applause. That was great. of eighth graders. I'm uh, happy at this time to <laughs> language arts is reading, writing, and speaking. This language arts student does them all superbly. Excellent scores on benchmark, advanced, perfect scores. Not only that, she helps other students reach her same goals. Provides competition, provides help when they need it. Language Arts is very happy to present the outstanding language arts students to Jade Valentine.
congratulations to all those students. Let's give them just one more round of applause. This student must be involved in extracurricular activities, social service, and have a willingness to help others. This student is genuinely a kind and helpful person, always courteous, polite to classmates and teachers, and is a role model to her peers. These are just a few comments the staff say about this recipient. In addition, this student has a positive attitude and a willingness to learn. This student serves on ASB, participated on the pentathlon team, was recognized as Student of the Week, received the President's Award recognizing her academic success and her grades and test scores, has a 3.79 grade point average for 7th and 8th grade, and today was just recognized a second ago as the top English language arts student and as a speaker. This student has a true commitment to her education and exemplifies outstanding citizenship and what it means to be an outstanding student. The winner is Jane Fallon.